Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you old, fresh, and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Just in, Interior Minister Tunji Ojo declares illegal 5,000 Naira passport compliance fee, asks Nigerians not to pay. The Minister of Interior, Dr. Lubomi Tsunji Ojo, has declared illegal the 5,000 Naira compliance fee charged by some personnel of a Nigerian Immigration Service, NIS, in some passport offices to help applicants process their passports. Tsunji Ojo made the declaration while responding to questions from reporters. Compliance fee. I am hearing it for the first time. We will plead with Nigerians to assist us in succeeding. Do not pay the compliance fee if there is anything like that. Do not pay for your rights. There is nothing in the books that is a compliance fee. Please let us educate our people, he stated. Upon taking office, the minister questioned the huge lines at immigration offices stating that the situation had devolved into nigerians queuing for passports to paradise while emphasizing the importance of reducing the time it takes to obtain an international passport the minister stated that even as a federal lawmaker and chairman of a committee on niger delta development commission ndc his own daughter waited for six months to obtain a passport, leaving her to wonder, leaving him to wonder what the fate of the average Nigerian would be. His predecessor, Raruf Aregbeshola, had imposed a three weeks turnaround period for passport renewals and a six week turnaround time for new applications. However, there were more than 204,000 unprocessed applications as of September 2023. Acting Controller General of Immigration, Caroline Uraula Adikpoju, detailed the reasons for the risk rising backlogs, stating that the desire of non young Nigerians to leave the country dubbed the Jackpot syndrome has resulted in an increase in applications since 2021. My daughter waited for six months to get a passport booklet. I was a House Committee Chairman on the NDDC. I faced this. Tell me what an average Nigerian would face. It is like we are waiting for a passport to heaven said to Jojo. As a result, it directed that the backlogs be addressed within two weeks, working with technical partners and with the minister's leadership. The Nigeria Immigration Service, NIS, was able to remove the backlogs in just over two weeks. Surprisingly, more than half of individuals who, who applied before September of this year, 
and whose passport booklets are now ready have declined to pick up their documents you all let me have your thoughts in the comment section guys subscribe if you haven't before we go let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online holiness says they declined because they don't know whether their own is among the released ones they should send sms to them to pick up abio people who thought that it would take <laughs> six months or more than six months for them to get their passport is ready but you know did you let them know that it is ready how are you able to communicate that to them that is the problem with you know government ministries governments parastatals it seems their mode of operation is just it's just weird at least for you to be for for people to be able to you know submit application for passport at least they should have dropped their phone number why not take that phone number and you know send them text message letting them know that your passport is ready instead of you know the passport is ready and it's in your hands and you're saying people are not going to collect it Henry says thanks honorable minister make it roll that's the language criminals understand I cannot even imagine for him whose daughter for him whose who, who, whose daughter was supposed to travel out and him being you know a house of uh senate member a committee member at that <laughs> his daughter went through the same thing six months she did not get her passport it's just it's quite it's quite sad because it's quite sad because of you know the the things that this country have turned to it's quite sad you know i know also understand that because of the jackpot syndrome you know people who are requesting for passports have increased but if, it, if the country is good if the country is okay people would not be tra trying to travel out of the country people would not be trying to run away because over there is even more difficult just that as, as as long as you work hard you can get your money boy in nigeria even if you walk like like a horse you will still get peanuts for 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 your hard work and which is the number one reason why people are you know jack -piring. that is why people are running out of a country nothing else lastly katrin says no immigration officer has ever collected any compliance anything from me it's because you would tend to even have certificates that's long from your house to Ghana, don't want to know how to fill ordinary simple form. So if a immigration officer is using his office hour to help you fill the form and equally running around to ensure that your form is completely done, you now want him to do it for free. Even for Europe, you must pay. Waiting be that, fill your forms online, pay online. Nigeria has websites. Um, I just, I did not even know that you could actually, you know, apply online for passports and then you'll be given your passport. I never knew that. I came to know about that like a month ago and I feel that's the easiest way. Even online, I heard that you can get your passport at the rate of 25,000 Naira. Instead of the 35,000 naira or 40,000, 45,000 in some cases that you pay at the immigration office, you can pay 25,000 naira online and get your passport as simple as that. You all let me have your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.